this beautiful spring day. And we're going scrambling on a scrambler. I'm on one mother funkin' cool scrambler. And uh, yeah, we're going to do some sorry laning, some green lanes, some uh, by, what are they called? By pass? No, by, by, by lanes, by bridle way, uh, yeah. Chris did the launch alongside the speed, street twin, sorry. Uh, back at the beginning of last year, so I mean, yeah, it's basically the same as a Bonneville with different bits and bobs, but it looks, we've got the, the matte green, we've got a Vance and Heinz can, we've got Fox shocks, and a couple of other bolt-on goodies. I've definitely had worse Mondays, that's for sure. Oh, it does sound good. It looks good, it sounds good. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Now, before it gets too dirty, as you can see, we're in a bit of a mud bath. Look at that. Vance and Heinz can, Fox shocks, aftermarket pegs, levers. Time to get grimy. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna take this route. Oh shit. Can I get through? Yeah, we're through, baby. Well, that was a good uh, start to proceedings. Yeah, it's not the easiest spot to stand up on. The engine's kind of sticks out a bit. Whoa! Nothing's bottoming out yet. It's all taken it in its stride. Except the rider. My eyes are watering. I don't understand all this. Standing up malarkey. Just save your legs, rest your arms. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Bit of a two wheel drift. Oh, the noise. The Vance and Heinz soundtrack. What better way to start a week? camera we've just been uh, going through that massive bloody puddle I'm absolutely soaked but hey ho I've got to say if you live in London and you struggle seeing green but well, the countryside not the not the St Amelia then what this is awesome I've got to say the suspension copes pretty well oh well that's the bottoms out this is the upgraded Fox stuff so you know it does feel slightly firmer but better damped there's more control rather than the sort of sagginess <laughs> oh ruts ruts I hate ruts yeah this definitely requires a bit more concentration than just sloshing through mud to be fair this is all you need really smooth power nice compliant throttle a nice noise and a good looking bike. <laughs> ah! 
<laughs> yeah, baby. Oh. This is a lot sketchier than it looks. Go on! <laughs> It's that chalky stuff at the bottom. Yeah, it's just going sideways. Oh. What I say? You South Easterners, you South Easterners are spoiled for this green lane in Malaki. Oh, blowing. If only you can see my visor. It's a brand new visor. I don't want to, it's got mud all over it. It's like someone's pooed on it. I don't want to wipe it because it's going to scratch it to Jeffrey. But then again, I can't see, so. Every cloud. Come see, come sir. <laughs> oh, it's nice to just have two minutes off the, off the pegs and breathe for a bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's always a problem, isn't it? Dogs and other animals and walkers. Well, you know, we've all got equal rights. But yet we're frowned upon, aren't we? Because we make noise and pollute the earth and, you know, damage the ozone layer and kill pandas. Really impressed with this bike. It's heavy, yeah, but you don't notice it. Ross from uh, Bike Shed just made a really good point, actually. He said that, you know, if we were on proper KTM 350 EXCs or other enduro bikes are available, you know, when you've got something that potent and that able, you want to be coming down there at 50 miles an hour, not, not you know, not getting a bit sketchy, a bit squirrely and enjoying the, the movement uh, like you do on this, this kind of bike. And Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, you're making a right meal of that, mate. <laughs> okay. Oh, she didn't like that one. She didn't like the sound of that twin rumbling up against her gut. Whoa! Shit! Oh, I hate that. But the world stops for a minute while well, the front just decides to slide around. I could happily do this all day long. Fresh, fresh. Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh, I'm such a douche. <laughs> Opening the throttle and having the rear wheel spin underneath you while it bounces against the limiter. Oh, I'm a simple man. <laughs> oh my God, that was close. <laughs> Mate, I thought you'd gone. Well, this is chicken, chicken. <laughs> this is fucking slippery. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Shit. Shit. Fuck. 
this <laughs> is fucking hot. <laughs> I remember going to uh, Salisbury with Mossy on some enduro bikes and hitting this chalky clay stuff and thinking, ah, it'll be fine, just hit it flat. Oh, I was on my ass, from upright to on my ass in like half a second. And Mossy the Geordie was just laughing at me while I was making animal noises on the floor. I mean, I apologise, because this looks like, well, we are riding like absolute noobs, but <laughs> you don't want to go any quick. Well, we're coming to the end of our ride and uh, coming to the end of the ride. Hilarious fun. As I mentioned earlier, you know, if you live in London or you've got a bike like this, you don't mind getting a little bit, taking a little bit of abuse, then uh, then you'll spoil for choice down this way. I had no idea about the onslaught of lanes you've got to play with. So this is my first time on a scrambler and I've got to say, ticks of the boxes, I mean, as I said, I keep saying, it looks stunning. You're either a, you're either a Ducati scrambler man or a uh, Triumph scrambler man or a BMW man, but uh, I, I do like the looks. It sounds nice, especially with this can. Um, it's fluid. It all works well. Gearbox is a bit clumpy, clunky, as Chris mentioned on the launch, and you know, the brakes are all right for the road stuff, but it's all about looking good and sounding good. And I look good and sound good. <laughs> uh.